Okay, guys, I, I was previously recording and I died in Mistmore. And then I was so close to dying and Tofu came out of nowhere, like Tom Bombadil. And then he just um, casted heels and buffs on me. And I told him I was trying to get my way to Runny Eye because someone wanted to see a video there. And I thought, hey, that's not a bad idea. So he's going to... He's going to take me to um, Misty Thicket, and then I'm going to get bound there. And we're going to make our way to Runny Eye and try to level up in Runny Eye. I promised I would do stuff in Guck, I know. Um, I'm just trying to uh, spread out a lot of leveling content in different dungeons to show people some of the experiences they might have had or some of the ones they've never experienced before. For me, Runny Eye is someplace I always go kind of late. And then the dungeon gets very dangerous very quickly as you go down. It's a mess. So let's do it. All right. So to get there, I have to go straight west. All right. This way here. Nope. Here we go. So I'm going to run west. I'll be on for a bit in case something happens. Oh, man, he's like super helpful. Uh, Tofu is a great person. Let's go west and let's see if I got to follow the road. I have not been in this zone in ages. So there's a wall. There's like a big wall. And it's like the wall from The Hobbit kind of. Where I think of the the riders going through the town. Brandy Bucket maybe it was. So we're going to have to get past these guards. We're indifferent to them and they can't see us. Let's hurry up and get over there. Ooh, that was scary. Hope I'm going the right way. We're going west. So let me consult the map one more time. Yes, we have to keep continuing west. And we're going to run to the zone. Let's kill. Okay, now we are no longer hidden. So we can kill things here and gain faction. By the way, I don't think we'll have enough time to get good faction with these people. The um, hobbits, it's never been like a huge concern because there's nothing special that's only in this hobbit area that you need. Like, I mean, having good faction in Freeport would be amazing. And also, Kinos for me is very important. But having good faction for the halflings has never been a priority. But who wouldn't love to have good faction with everybody? So we are gaining faction with storm guards. Storm Reapers got better, and that's what I like to see. So I'm not going to do this. Oh, he, and he gave me a dagger, so let's let's get in here first. I don't like to train anybody. These are all green to me. But let's check out the dagger. Um, my bags are a mess. So this dagger here is called Crystalline Spider Fang. It's got 10 damage, 22 to light. Let's go ahead and put it on. And let's see what happens. So I don't know when you can start procking this weapon. Does it matter too much? Not really. The point is to is to raise the skill. So while I'm raising the skill, let me get some music going. I really wish I could play the soundtrack to Braveheart right now. I love that soundtrack and it would go so well with my uh, game. I have a request. I just... The back... In the day when EverQuest came out, it was sort of close to the time Braveheart came out, so they would go so well together. So here's a guy named Mindrest. Let's just uh, run past him. And let's take a look inside. We just entered the dungeon, so let's check out the wiki. Called Runny Eye Citadel. Okay, I'm zoning in. I'm trying to pull up the map. My internet is decrepit now. Okay, so let's see. As we enter in from Misty Thicket, we're gonna come into a crossroads. You can take left or right. If we take left, it'll take us down to level two. If we take right, it'll take us to the Gorge of King's Orb. So, uh-oh, I'm too tall. We never fear. We will find our way out of here, but this presents a danger to us. Peons are green. Let's see if we can stand up finally. Yes, we can stand. And we can dance if we wanna. Roots, goblin trainees. 
and they all will scowl ready to attack. So this takes us to the gorge. So we can check out the gorge as well. I am now in the gorge of King Zorb. And I wanted to assess whether these minotaurs would be an appropriate thing to fight for my level 21. But I don't see any minotaurs. You know, I've never looked up, but... If you came through this in real life, you would always look up. But in the video game, I find myself never doing that. Because I don't expect anything up there. Okay, so far nothing to fight. Someone's been in here. I hardly ever see anyone fighting in this zone. They all appear to be the similar level to myself. So let's take a look. I don't want to get lost. Mudites are green and safe. That's not good. Oh no, they're killing all the minotaurs. Alright, let's go inside Runny Eye. Don't want to waste your time having you watch me run around looking for things. We've got buffs and we need to use them. Darn it. Make quickness, post haste. Post haste. You guys remember Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves? He goes, at then, she goes, make haste. He precedes the lion heart. Okay. Anyway, stop goofing around. Let's start killing. Greens. Hope I didn't come here too late. Green stuff. Here's where things get sticky. All right, we're gonna wait till something runs past us. Well, actually, I'm impatient, so let's. Arrow eaters are blue. Nice. Dot sappers are green. And they're all scowling, so there's no faction to preserve. Let's go ahead and lose faction with these guys. And here's what I wanted to see. Oh yeah, flesh burner. Come here. All right, we got enough on us now. Let's. Retreat upstairs. Ooh, three of them on us, guys. Let's, I said I was going to play it safe, and you're probably already shaking your head, thinking, what the hell? So we are using a terrible weapon right now because our piercing skill is low. Let's put on slashing, and let's uh, use the piercing as our offhand. Let's look up the name of this weapon called Crystalline Spider Fang. All right. Oh, I hit with 12 points of damage. That's that Velium Shards, I think. Which means this weapon is already proccing. That's good to know. Nice. Let's go to third person view. Maybe we can see the proc animation or at least the spell effects of this Crystalline Spider Fang. Cool. So we're already gaining fast experience. We're already at 56% of the way through this level. This is perfect. Oh yeah, Spory Scavenger's coming up here. All right, he's threateningly and he's blue. That's exactly what I want. And here comes a conscript as well. Perfectness. And this one I'm fighting has a lot of life. Oh, piercing is only skill level 2? I had no idea it was so low. So there it goes. It procced for 12 points of damage. Nothing's behind me, is it? No. Oh, there is two things on me. Alright, I have to change weapons now. Just because this is getting too dangerous. All right, we're going to use this for now. We're going to keep this bag open so I can switch weapons. There's always a chance you get low life and those things that are really green to you will aggro on you. 
to gather courage whenever your life is low. All right, what am I attacking? Don't tell me it ran away. Oh crap, it ran away and I didn't notice where it ran. Be prepared for a large group of things running my way. Crap. I might have a train come on me. Yep, there's one coming already. We're going to fight near the entrance. No big deal. And it's blue to me. Oh crap, there's two of them in their casters. Shoot. As long as I don't lose my buffs. The reason I didn't want to wait and fight till the end is because my buffs would disappear. Oh, thank God. I kept my buffs. Get back in there. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm going to try to chase those things down that... Okay. Yeah. Ooh, and his life is not filled up yet. Cool. So we're going to get all this experience. We're not going to lose it. 59% of the way through the level. So I'm going to stay here and fight near the top of this ramp. At least until we get a little stronger. Killed all these. Okay, I'm going to kill the runt. Wow, the runt's got a lot of life. I thought he would die in like one hit. That's what I expected. And I'm sorry that it's difficult to see the action because of the ceilings being so low. Alright, we're going to start putting our weapon back on now. Here we go. Keep the bag handy. All right, let's see if we can find another ad here or a pool. Here we go. These guys won't attack unless you are engaged in fighting a goblin. And then they'll aggro socially. Here we go. 62% of the way through the level. Let me know if you guys don't enjoy this music I'm playing. I can always find something a little different. It is tough sometimes to find reliable, copyright-free type music. Oh. I hit him, and then I took off running. The reason I'm running is because I want to pull him up here. Oh, crap. Two of them. Oh crap, the mouse flew off the screen. Okay, I wanna be facing the way to exit. I'm gonna actually put on my good weapon again. Cause this will be a close fight. Looks like they're starting to heal. We'll be, we'll be fine. I just don't wanna run close to the zone. When I'm low life, I'll lose my buffs. Okay, good job, good job. One down, one to go, and these are both blue. This should be a good zone experience modifier to help me. So killing blues will be still good. I went into a frenzy. It's hard to tell if something's behind me. Lose that field of view whenever you're in this hallway. Dude, we're doing lots of damage. All right, it's time to put the dagger back on. Piercing is at three. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. 70%. Let's gain this level real quick. I'm not going to even pick it up. It's probably best to rest up here, but I can't sit down because there's roamers everywhere. Hold on a second. Let me get some life back. All right, let's get back in the action. I can't wait too long as a thought shaper. So, wow, that thing is green to me. That'll attack me. Oh, you turned the corner too fast. Nothing there. Another summon here. A mind ripper. Let's pull him. So we got the pool. Let's fight him at the top of the ramp. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of the top of this ramp, I'm telling you. We're going to use magic, but a Pix Claw Mind Ripper's magical skin absorbed blow. So he's got like a damage shield on. That's fine. So work's been, woo, it's been so much. Makes you wonder, what happens when I leave the room? Okay, so now we are 75% of the way. I need to really get my life up. It's just difficult when you can't sit down anywhere. All right, let's pull it. So this is a caster. I expect to get hit by a spell. I don't expect to get ads up here, so this is where I'll fight. Here we come. I said I was going to be careful. Trust me, I'm being careful. And my biggest concern is losing my buffs when I zone out if I have to run. These buffs will carry me through this level quickly. So guys, as I gain levels, as I gain one more level, I'll go deeper into the dungeon. As I gain two levels, I'll probably be a floor, one or two floors down below. I will keep pressing my way to the bottom of this dungeon, okay? As long as people enjoy this dungeon, I will stay here. Otherwise, I can always go back to Mistmore, which I think people have seen enough of. Or I can go to Split Paw, which people, I mean, people are like okay about. But then there's always Soul A, and there's always Kazakh Thul, so... And I've, I promised to do guck, but I've done very minimal amounts of guck content, mainly because it's more of a grouping dungeon because of how tight things are. All right, this thing is healing itself, and it's not cool. Doesn't this thing know I have bedtime soon? Quit delaying the inevitable and die. Give me my experience. You know what would have been a cool thing to do, too? Early on in this character's career, I could have gone to Kern's Tower and leveled there. That would have been fun. So we see a fractured femur. That's cool. This is part of a... I think you can get use this to get like the... Maybe the monk treant fist or something. I don't know. Maybe it's not for that. I don't know. Just talking on my butt. Dot Shaper. That's green. Let me get another kill or two. Okay, there we go. Flesh Burner. I like that. I'm going to pull it up here. Hopefully we don't get an ad. Fighting one at a time would be perfect. Here he comes. Oh, he roots. That's dangerous. Having anything that roots is a dangerous thing. Right, I'm going to kill this last flesh. It's called a pick claw flesh burner. We're going to kill this guy. and I'm going to call it the end of the video. Only because I'm getting super tired. I'm sleepy. I worked um, about 14 hours a day. 
No, it was about 13 hours. But if you include the commute, definitely 14 and a half hours I was on the road or working. It wasn't a bad day. It's just that the day beforehand I worked about 16. And so I haven't had a chance to get a good night's rest. All right, so that's my intro video for Runny Eye. Expect me to go into the deeper parts of this dungeon soon. Thanks for watching, guys. This is going to be uploaded Tuesday. Have a great week. See you soon. And thanks again, Tofu, for all your help. You've been incredible, and it's been it's been such a great blessing that you made these videos more convenient for me to make because traveling as an ogre warrior is um, a huge issue. Crossing continents, avoiding the boats, man. So anyways, take care, guys. Bye.